Hi guys and welcome back to Landland Builds and as many of you know it's October which means it's spooky season so I'm going to be building something very scary for you today. Welcome to Chilton Marsh and House based off Eel Marsh House in Woman in Black which was based off Cotterstock Hall near Peterborough. But before we get on to building the house you'll see I'm building a little hamlet here which is a smaller village. Um, I think this one's only got three houses and a church which is based off Halton Gill in the Yorkshire Dales, which was actually used as the village in Woman in Black. You've just seen me build the beautiful old Georgian rectory, which is usually where the vicar would live, but I think this place is a bit too unholy to have a vicar. Now let's move on to the church, which is based off a church I found on the internet that I have no idea where it's from. It was this really sweet little Norman church with tiny rounded Norman-esque windows, a little extension and a stubby tower on the front. Although the church was really sweet and tiny, the lack of windows did give it a bit of an ominous and creepy vibe as you can't see what's actually happening inside of it, which in my opinion, that's definitely what I'm going for with this place. So I knew I had to put it in, I just had to. One thing that was especially fun about this project is I managed to use a lot of the new Grims... No, it's not Grimstone. Deep Slate <laughs> blocks because the server's now just been updated to 1.17.1. So I've got all of those at my dispersal. So all of the roofs are made out of those. And I think it looks fantastic. I love it. And I can't wait for the height limit to get extended. I've got no projects which may use it in the future, but it's always a good thing to have just in case I need it. I had a go at a couple of semi-detached English cottages which seemed to be a staple of any English village, which actually I did two sets of these as another set on the other side of the road where you can see those two little roads leading up to what will be their back gardens. They're very simple, very classic, but they get the job done, which is what we need in this place. Nothing's supposed to be over extravagant. It's all supposed to be quite drear, quite drib, quite drab and gloomy and horrible because it's a Halloween video. Chilton Marsh itself, not the houses, probably took me double the amount of time than the houses and Chilton House put together. That's a lot of houses in one sentence, but I had to landscape the grounds, I had to do so much texturing, putting leaves in the water, building the causeway, building the little islands. It took so long, but I love the way it turned out and I think it works perfectly for this sort of vibe. Just like in Woman in Black, this place has a dark history as it's haunted by the ghost of a woman who lost her son on the marshes. And some say that if you look hard enough, you can still make out the cross on the marshes today. Or maybe I just built one there, you can decide. But speaking of marshes, we'll now cross the marshes by the means of a brand new invention, the motor car, which uses the brand new light blocks that came out in 1.17, which works so well as headlights. So here it is, the main event, Chilton House, which is based off Cotterstock Hall, as I said before, which has this gorgeous Elizabethan facade and lovely detailing around the door. And I did want to call it Cotterstock Hall, but it doesn't sound creepy enough. So I just merged the words chill and town together and made Chilton, which is what it's called. I mean, it's, I would say it's not inventive, but it's quite a straightforward way that I've made the name. But I'm quite pleased with it. I think it works. It does its job. I actually decided to build the house from Women in Black after I watched Women in Black. And I thought... That's such a gorgeous house. The whole time I was watching it, that's all I was thinking. What a lovely house. I know there's a ghost living there, but wouldn't it just be fantastic to live there? Because the real life building, apparently it doesn't have any ghosts, but there may be one hiding in a closet here or maybe under the stairs there, which would create quite an atmosphere at home to say the least. When I was finding images to build the house, I could find very few. I found an image of the front in real life and in the film, and I found one image of the back and one of one of the sides. So it was very ropey on getting an accurate representation, but I did find a floor plan to build from. Although I ran out of time, so there aren't actually any rooms inside, but that may be better because I'm not very good at interiors. And I think if I had a go, I'd probably botch the building. So 
You won't be seeing that anytime soon, but maybe next Halloween I'll come and build one. You never know. When it comes to the real life Cotterstock Hall, it was built in 1658 and had alterations in the 18th century with a staircase being added in the 19th century, which of course you won't be able to see on my version because I didn't do the interior. But in 1857, a countess actually died in the house, so it may be haunted just like our one in our world. The house was also on the market a few years ago for just over two million pounds, which is a lot of money. But that's the way that I managed to get the floor plans for it, which helped me to figure out this side that we're building at the moment, because I had no idea what it looked like, so I had to judge it off of where the windows were on different floors, etc. So it's not 100% accurate, but I think it does the job. And I think you'll also notice that I'm using 1.17.1 to its utmost capacity with all of this deep slate everywhere. I love the block, it's awesome. And I really like the way that I managed to use it for dormers on the front using debug walls. I was especially proud of that. This house was a lot of fun to build and after we've gone through a few lighting glitches with replay mod, I'm not sure why that happened. It happens in game as well when you get up past a certain point. I'm not really sure what's happening with that, but Microsoft has their ways, I suppose. So after we've done that, it's through to putting greenery everywhere and coating the bottom half of the house with vines and leaves and fences and whatever, just to make it look grounded into its surroundings. After that, I went and made this little graveyard down here, so there may be a few more ghosts hanging around, I hope not. Actually, no, for the content, I hope there are. But after I'd done that, I went and put little gates around it and threw a bunch of bushes everywhere to make the place look overgrown because nobody's up here tending to it. Nobody wants to go anywhere near the place because it's such a creepy, creepy house. And then after that, just time for a few more trees and voila, it is finished. Now all of that's done, it's time to zoom out, take a look back, have a few more lighting glitches, and for you guys, it will be time to see the cinematic. So you know the drill, I will go and see you after that.
So guys, that's all I have on Chilton Marsh, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I've said before, I had a lot of fun building for this. Apart from the swamp at points, because that took ages, but all in all, it was a very fun project to do. My next video hopefully should be out soon, which is starting a brand new series, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but stay tuned for that, and no, it's not building Kingsworthy yet. There's still a long, long way to go on that. With all that being said, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button, and subscribe if you enjoyed it that much and you want to see more stuff from me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.